In Wales, I see the language everywhere. As soon as I go over the border, there's Welcome to Wales. Um, and it's in Welsh. And it's everywhere on the signs. Um, I hear it being spoken. And it sort of it instills this sort of sense of belonging. I think a lot about being Welsh is also the people in Wales, which are generally very friendly people, very talkative, um, and just lovely. And uh, particularly in London, I don't get that experience. You have um, everyone sort of getting on with their lives, um, doing what they need to do on their own. Uh, they're not very friendly. They won't speak to you. They won't smile for you. And it's a very different um, sort of culture, I think, in that sense. I consider language to be of fundamental importance when it comes to calling myself Welsh. And that's why I really want to be able to eventually become fluent in Welsh. Um, because it is something that really separates Wales from the rest of the UK. That we have our own language and it is used on a daily basis by a lot of people in Wales. London is very much uh, a melting pot of cultures and languages and people. You meet people from all around the world. Wanting to uh, do research in astrophysics is that, particularly because I have such a narrow field of research, there are no departments um, in, in Wales that do my research at all. So, very much I would love to actually live and work in Wales, but um, unfortunately I don't know if that will happen until later on in life. But I would love to go back and retire there eventually. And my granddad, I always, I think actually he was the one that sort of instilled that sort of uh, pride of being Welsh in me. And I always remember this uh, thing that he would say, they're joking, but I've, 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 it's always stayed with me. Um, is he would always refer to um, tomato ketchup as dragon's blood. And it, it's a fun little joke in my family. Um, so, um, yeah, joking about the, the Welsh dragon meats. I guess my favourite uh, type of Welsh cuisine is actually Welsh cakes, uh, which are sort of like, I guess like flat, flat scones that you would cook on a griddle. And um, I know I remember growing up, we'd always go to a market every couple of weekends on a Sunday, and there'd always be a stall there that would sell uh, very freshly cooked, um, hot Welsh cakes. And um, yeah, that's one of my favourite of all time. It's probably a word that's overused now, but there's a Welsh word, um, hirai, uh, which is sort of, it doesn't translate very well, but I think it means a sort of like a longing and nostalgia um, for a place. I think, I think that's definitely what I have in that sense about Wales. Every time I go back, it's always, I feel happy to be home. Um, and I always feel a little bit sad every time I'm here.